everybody, welcome back to Evan the OG, the original Grognard here for Lock and Load Publishing. We got a little treat for you here today. That's right, we're back to Tabletop Simulator, and oh my, what is this? What are we playing? Ah, it's point blank, and I'm actually not going to be playing it against myself this time. I have got an actual real-life opponent, Tony! Hey, how's it going? Tony from Tony's Board Life here. So, uh... Devin asked me if I wanted to play, and I said yes. And <laughs> here we have a special guest with us. Those that are have watched the War Room know my daughter Natalie. Natalie, say hi. Hi. She gets a little giggly when we get online live and and start playing. So, anyway, so she's gonna watch because uh, we plan on doing a video playthrough once you know. So we're gonna learn the game and and really get it, and then me and her are gonna go face to face, and of course that'll be recorded. And David told me I am not allowed to edit the videos if I if I lose. <laughs> <laughs> he specifically said I'm not allowed to edit it to make it look like I win. So <laughs> very good, very good. We also have another special guest. He's been on here before with us, the designer of Point Blank himself, Sean. Hey, everyone. Thought I would uh, loiter for a little while and. Uh... Watch uh, Devin and Tony duke it out. Well, we're glad to have you because I know I'm not the, the, the greatest rules guru guy. Anybody who's watched my videos knows that. So to have Sean along with us to, to point out and smack me when I get the rules wrong, that's that's always a good thing. So <laughs> My lot in life. Mm-hmm. All right, so the scenario we're playing this time, uh, we're actually doing a new one that we haven't done before. It's a Here Kitty Kitty, um, and pretty much I, I, I chose it because it's got a tiger in it, and I like tigers. Everybody should get drive a tiger <laughs> at least once in their life. So I'm going to be playing the Nasta Dramans, and Tony and his daughter are going to be taking the Americans, and their objective is they got to cross this wide open field and um, get to this hotel right down here. Where's my button at? There it is. There's my button. So they got to try to capture that hotel by the end of turn three. I doubt we're going to get through the entire game. Probably go hour, hour and a half. Or until, you know, somebody gets tired of dealing with the other person and probably cut it then. But uh, that's their objective. Um, from force-wise, I've got I've got a Tiger. i got a PZ-3J. i got like four squads of infantry. i got an MG-34. i got a Panzerfaust over there and a couple leaders. And obviously I'm... Lots of nice defensive positions, except for my Tiger just kind of sitting out in the middle of the road. Not the best place for him. Um, Tony, you want to go over your forces a little bit? Yeah, I've got um, just – I'm going to run through it real quick. I have six infantry. I have three uh, second-line infantries, three M10s, um, and uh, I have Sergeant Bowen, Sergeant Smith – or Captain Bowen, Bowden, Sergeant Smith, and Sergeant Miller. And then I've got a 1919 machine gun. Uh, which is right here. And then I also have a bazooka. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can take out some tank tigers with that. Um, <laughs> that's that's the ultimate goal, whether it happens or not. We'll see. <laughs> well, if, if nothing else, you know, just taking out a tiger is a moral victory. But those, you got the M10s. Those things are packing the uh, 76 millimeter on them. So, you know, that's, you got a pretty good chance. Uh, being able to punch through the armor, and you've got three of them. Oh, one thing I did want to point out of this scenario, and it's something we have not seen in our playthroughs before. Uh, we're actually using uh, a scenario that has the reinforcement card. So instead of the reinforcement card being used as something else, we actually can use it as a reinforcement card. Uh, for the U.S., the U.S. can either get, well, there's a there's a chart on the scenario, either get like a Sherman or another M10, whereas the Germans, I think they just get infantry. I don't think they get any armor. Uh, take a look real quick oh i can get a uh pc3j so yeah. all right hey so. Dad, i want to point out that uh rocket propelled uh support weapons such as your Panzerfaust, there can't be fired in buildings yeah i know but Rather i don't have i don't on, uh, in the... <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't have any infantry in the open so i mean it had to go somewhere so yeah, that's all right just as a reminder just in case you wanted to yeah yeah shot. no i i, I I'll admit I sometimes forget that because we allow it now in tactical. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do it squad leader too, but you got to roll like a morale. Yeah, check it's a morale check. It's, but and, yeah, uh, I just wanted to make it simpler. Yep. No, totally understand. Um, so we haven't drawn our action cards yet. So it's uh, five cards, correct? Yeah. Yep. 
You can go ahead and hover over the deck and just push a number. It'll pull that many cards into your hand, Tony. Oh, I'll have to remember that next time. Yeah, it's 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 a very handy, very quick and easy. It's just hover over it, push the number of cards you want, and it puts it right into your hand. And the U.S. actually get to start off first. Mm-hmm. Let's see what type of actions I have. So, um, as I was asking before we got started, if there's really any real good tactical um, you know, things like that, that we should be looking at. And you don't, um, want, to, you don't want to show me your hand. You can, Oh, sorry. Highlight them and pull them down towards the bottom of your screen. And then that, should... Oh, there's that. That's, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> ah, I lost two cards. Okay. <laughs> Woo. They came back. There you go. They were falling. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now I can flip them. Yeah. Now I can't see what you got. That's a good thing I okay. have a lousy memory, so. <laughs> That's why we can play solo. Exactly. It's like, I always forget what I'm doing from impulse to impulse, even if I am playing both sides. Okay, so now I do have, I'll tell you one thing that's really nice is the player aids, there's a lot of them, mm -hmm. but it's got everything you need on these cards, uh, what to do. Now I just got to find the right card. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, and this is, this is one thing a lot of people seem to either skip over or forget is that if you don't have a card that matches an action that you want to do for your train, you can discard any card you want and still activate that unit to do the action. It's just, you have to spend them. I was going to say tap, but we, we get in trouble for that from magic. Up. yeah you can spin the unit so if you do, if you want to shoot and don't have any fire actions in your hand you can discard any card you want and still activate a unit to do a fire action it just you have to spend them now here's a little trick i don't want to say this is a combo but it's kind of a combo there are some leader cards that allow you to ready your troops so if you have a leader stacked with a unit that you know you're going to spend and they the leader's got the ready action don't have the leader uh, give his leadership modifier over to the unit, play the card, do the fire action, spend, and then use your leader to unspend him. <laughs> I don't want to say now, it's a combo, but it's kind of a combo. You have to throw a card out there. You have to throw a card for each leader. I mean, you can do the leader actions. as you can, If you have, let's say, two or three leaders, you can do three leader actions in your impulse. Yep. But you, you're throwing a card out for each time as, to do a okay. spend. And uh, the uh, action cards with the uh, multiple um icons on them you can do one both or or both. you know use it both. as you can use both in any order okay okay so what i think the i'm only, gonna do is yeah the only thing you can't do is like red is fire get a fatigue and then ready it in the same turn yeah that that would make sense that could make sense so i'm just gonna start throwing cards out and seeing what happens Ooh. and go because i kind of have an idea so what I'm going to do, okay, so if we grow through the phases, which I don't think this is going to be an issue uh, right now because the, because nobody's, you know, there's no, there's our, the train's already there. Um, so the upkeep phase, I don't think I have much of upkeep phase right now. Nope, nope not there's really. No there's nothing to upkeep you typically in the very first turn. Yep, that's what I was, Okay, so I am going to play this card right here because i'm going to activate the uh m10 since i don't have any recon so i'm going to move the n10 m10 and i'm going to move it forward is that a uh, flank on there or is it a it is a flank yes so you can attempt to flank in the same column to morale check and it'll give you a plus one on the flank e or plus Plus two. I think it's plus two. I'm sorry. Uh, so it'll help you to hit. Okay, because that, that was that was one question. Ability. Yeah, that was the one question that as I was reading the rules, I did have was, can you flank from this far back or? Yeah, it's in the same column. It's it's kind of abstract, but it's you know just getting a good angle on the on the vehicle. There's not a lot of of those flank. Okay, so, and I can do that with the same unit, right? So I can move and then try to flank, correct? You can move and flank with the same unit, or you can move and flank with a different unit, as long as you meet the criteria of flanking. Okay. And so flanking, um, I'm going to attempt to put it on, what, uh, let's see, 
what do you got up there? That PZ3J. So, um, in this case, I roll. Do I do a, I do a morale check? Correct. Yes. Two well, okay. morale check is to draw up two cards. Two cards. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, so and you have to be below a six. Okay. So one, two, and then we're gonna flip them. So yep. I got a six. There you go. Yep. Okay, so it's equal to or less than. Okay. Whoop. Oh. So put the flanking token on the flanker, and then the corresponding target token on the flanky. Okay. So in so in that case, that would be, and I got to so I draw up then, and that would be my turn, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, on uh, my side, what are we going to do? Uh, yeah, we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot. We're going to shoot with the Taiga. And, well, there's a fancy little M10 driving up over, so I think we're probably going to shoot at that. Um, so we, what we need to do is see if we have line of sight first. And fortunately, there's a lots of wide open terrain here, so we don't have to worry too much of about it. But just as, a, as to go over for those who may not know how line of sight works, you take the attacker and you draw a straight line through the sectors to the zero rope. If there's any terrain in there, you have to take that into consideration, be it degrading or blocking. If it's blocking, you can't see it at all. Um, and then you take the targets column and check from where they're at to the zero row. So basically, you're just checking columns. And Sean, I, I absolutely love you for this, for coming up with this. We're not going cross sector. You're not drawing from, you know, like here. Let me get mine. So you go here. You know, to here. You're just drawing straight down the line, and if there's any, now you are in an obscuring terrain, or yeah, you're in obscuring terrain, so you're going to get a bonus mm -hmm. for that because you're you're in the uh, you're in the brush. So okay, yeah, so affect a lot, lot line of sight, uh, uh, and line of sight. Uh, if when two units are firing at each other on the same side of the zero row, so in other words, let's say if C1 was shooting at B2, then it's more of a, you know go up one box, go over one box, right, and see right. if there's things right in between. Right. I haven't had that happen very often. It's probably going to happen in this scenario because, I mean, Tony is going to have to cross no man's land and come into my side. Um, okay. All right, so now we have to check range. It's one per call or one per sector going up. So we've got one, two, three, four. And then if you have to go to an adjacent sector, it's two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So my range is six. And let's go ahead and take a look at the very bottom of the uh, of the tank column is the range and to hit chart. Now, uh, Sean, you want to go over that? To how exactly that uh, that plays out? Sure. Uh, range for armor is unlimited in the game. And uh, the red colored bands represent sector ranges or distances that you can uh, use to resolve your fire. So the red band is for firing at ranges of one to two. The yellow band is for ranges of three to five. And then everything that's six or better, that's what you, you, you would use the white band. So the front number the first number in the the thing there, I can't I put it down here. So the tiger is um, a six and a five. So you would have to roll a six on two dice in order to hit. But he is the tank is in. It's first off, it's moving, so it's going to be a plus one. And then on top of that, it is in. It looks like brush. Brush. Yep. That yes. Is? Yeah, it's so brush. That would, be a, that would be an additional plus one. So you would need a four to hit. However, you have uh, Lieutenant Codes in there, and he will subtract two from your die roll. So it'll be a straight up six. Yep, and that's going to be on two dice, and you draw from the action deck. I, I, and Tony brought this up earlier, so I, I do want to point it out. For those of you who do want to use the dice option, I mean, we have given the dice option in the TTS, but every time you roll a dice, 
discard a corresponding card from the action deck because the action deck actually is the timer for how long each turn is and if you start rolling dice but don't removing the cards from the from the deck you're going to be artificially lengthening the game um so the dice option is there just remember discard a card whenever you roll the dice i don't like rolling dice because like tony the, the dice betray me all the time the dice hate us yeah exactly exactly so let's just go ahead with that and we got a five okay that's a hit Woohoo! go back and take a so look now at you would the... go back to that same chart and look to the number of the right which is a five that's the penetration number of the round that you just shot so you, in order to resolve that, you would take the five and add it to a D6 check, just one die roll, and add it together, and that would be your penetration result. Yep. And then the defender would look at his armor, which is, uh, in this case, would be front flanking armor. You would take the front flank armor and find that number and then uh, make a D6 check and add that number to it. And that would be your defensive uh, uh, save. So the M10, okay. the M10's got a front armor of four. Okay. So I've got and a penetration of five. He's got a defense of four. And basically we, we pull a card, draw the dice, and compare it. And whoever gets the highest. Yes. All right. So I and got a nine and he got a five. I've... So I exceeded his penetrate or his armor value. So the tank has exploded, and there's a now a wreck added to the scenery of the brush. So this, so this card is no. This M10 is no longer. It's it's a smoldering wreck. Yes. So you it gets moved, moved off, open. correct? Y yes. What a way to start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would now, say that you, would be... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, since you did a move, also, everybody in Sector A1 is spotted, so you can throw a spotted on the terrain. I usually put it on the terrain, because the whole sector is spotted. So they don't get the concealed bonus. And, yes, it's very tiring, so I'm throwing rounds into an M10. <laughs> so now, I don't know, what, what cards did you have... Tony, did you have anything other than a move, like a recon or anything like that? I do not. I have other cards. I have fire cards, um, and but it was a it was a move and a flank card is what it was. Do you have a unit action or anything like that? Because mm. what you could do is you could throw in some smoke out in front there. Oh um, yeah, um, that would have blocked the line of sight, and. Um, from the tiger, and then you know you could have, you know, moved into whatever terrain you're going to move into in a zero, and then possibly get got a shot at the either the the Panzer three or the tiger. Excuse me, T. Yeah. As uh, your daughter would say. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't have all. I so I and I'm gonna so we can learn how this goes. Is all right now. Currently, all I have are. Um, I have an assault card, a rally card, two fire cards, and a cover card. Okay. Those will come in handy. <laughs> well, yep. yeah, the cover card, he could have played the cover card to adjust my dice roll, correct? Or is that just Not on, on infantry? the tank. Not on the tank, Only it's just on infantry, yeah. right. And keep in mind, uh, all your, your, everybody's unbuttoned unless you decide to button. So... Right now, the Tiger and the Panzer III are, you know, the crew has popped out. So they are targets for infantry. Now, what was the, so if we if we were to discard a card, and um, so that would be like a leader, you, you leader, right? To discard a card and then... A leader, would, or, uh, yeah, so you, for once per turn, you can discard a card out of your hand and, and uh, um, command a unit to do an action. And then okay. you can then you can also do any leader, in addition. But oh, in addition. Time. Okay. In addition. Yeah. So would throwing smoke be one of those actions that I could do? Not from a leader. Yes, you can throw a card and do an action. You'd spend the unit, and you could throw smoke in front of you if you like. You have to roll okay. a four, five, or six. 
or you could or you could also move and throw smoke so that smoke is also one of those things that you can do in combination with a move but if i had a smoke card no if you just you just throw a card out and then you can pick a unit that has smoke and the americans had tons of smoke so uh let's say say, say that uh the middle infantry there uh if you want to block line of sight for that tiger all day long, you could throw smoke right in B zero. Remember the yeah. line of sight rule. Yeah, because if there's a smoke in B zero, I won't be able to trace line of sight because smoke is a blocking okay. action. And since B zero is my destination that I have to draw line of sight to, it doesn't matter where you're at. If there's a smoke in B zero, I'm never going to shoot you until a uh, what a breeze card comes up to make the smoke yeah, go away. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple breeze cards in there. Okay, so and at the end of the turn. Yep. So Devin, you're done. Am I correct? Yep, I done. I'm done. I re I drew I redrew back up to my five. It is now your impulse. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a card. So I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to activate. Um, let's see here. I got to make sure I get uh, infantry. Uh, this infantry right here. Yep. Um, so I'm going to throw him. So I'm going to have him try to throw smoke. Okay. Yep. I believe it's uh, four, five, or six. Do you have a leader? Yes, there is a leader in there. And you can add his modifier. Okay. So he's got a, it's a one. I have a Miller in there. Sergeant Miller. <laughs> okay. So the leader, so the infantry is spent. Okay. So he, he rotates, right? Yep. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so now I gotta go in. So then I'm going to hopefully get a three, four, five, or six. Yep, there you go. Get a five. Okay, so then I get to take one of these. Yep, one of the smokes go over there. Yep. Awesome. This guy goes here. And now that tiger is blind to everything behind row zero right now. Awesome. That's cool. <laughs> so then that would be my turn, correct? That'd be your turn. Okay. Yep. We'll draw back up to your hand size. I mean, you can use your leader action. I don't know. I can't see what actions he's got. Because, uh, well, I have rally, which I can't do on that one. I could have a redraw. Um, roll. Is it a lightning bolt? Yeah. Uh, lightning. Bolt. Yeah, I do have a lightning bolt. So lightning bolt, you could have thrown a card out, bent your leader, use a lightning bolt, thrown a smoke with your infantry and your infantry would not have been spent oh oh yeah it would have been spent that's right so you can do now another unit if you wanted like a move action or something it's a free unit action but the unit has to spend afterwards okay so, so and then the leader spends as well correct the leader spends as well but see the leaders pop back up unspent the next turn the okay so unit, it's a really good idea to use your leaders when you can use them, they use them yep okay so i'm gonna go ahead and spend uh, Sergeant Miller, and then I'm going to, and it has to be in that sector, correct? Yes. Unit? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead with another uh, infantry, and I'm going to move him uh, into B zero. Right. So you just put a move, spin the, put the direction yep. where the arrow is going, and then that unit, I believe, has to be spent from the from the leader. Okay. So he's he's got to rotate all together. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the the benefit of that action from the leader is is you can do like two unit actions instead of one, or one or two spend actions instead of one in a turn. Uh -oh. Gotta love the physics engine sometimes. What happened? Where did it go? Oh, it just it just stacked with another card. Oh, okay. Oh, turned, okay. It turned all your cards one, to the side. Should have so. one that's not. Yeah, one that's not spent. <laughs> okay, so I just got too close to a bunch of them is what yep. it was. Okay. Yep. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, that, also, uh, so up. that also does give them a fatigue. Okay. No, okay. not when they're spent. Not when they're spent. Oh, not when they're spent. Okay. Yeah, when they're spent, all fatigue comes off. And did I need oh, to... Right. No, oh, that was a free action. I didn't need to spend a card for that because that was a leader action, correct? You you do spend a card. You do? Okay. Yeah. Another way to get cards out of your hand. Yeah, that's... Got what that. you can do as many of those as you want. You can only do one unit. 
You can do as many leaders as you want. Okay. Uh, but for right now, that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm drawing back up. It's up back to you, Devin. All right, I'm going to play a recon action so I can draw some terrain cards. It's one or two terrain cards, uh, Sean. It's two, two terrain cards. Pick one. And do I show the terrain opponent what the two cards are people. or not? Listen, you don't show anybody what the terrain cards are. Let me just I'm trying to remember my own rule here. Sorry about that. I'll just verify <laughs> that. Please do. Yeah, two terrain cards. Sorry. Yep. All right. Uh, our, our viewers can see what I uh, what I what I kept. Nobody else can. Um, and yeah. So, but no, no, no. It depends on where they're watching this because I'm recording this too. So if they're watching it on my side, ah, they don't. yeah. Well, no, they won't. For people who are watching my recording, they can see it. If they're watching yours, they see your cards, but not mine. It's not my screen. No. All right. Draw back up. Whoops, I keep accidentally drawing a terrain card instead of an action card. Flip that shuffle. Shut up. I don't, I don't want that clear card. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad uh, All right, over to oh. your turn. Okay. Um, so first oh, thing you so... got to do is you got to resolve your... Now here's an upkeep phase moment. Yep. So you have a moving unit. Yep. Uh, you have to resolve his move. That's one of the only things you have to resolve. So you don't have a terrain card in your hand. Nope. So you have to draw a terrain card blind. Okay. Uh, now do you... So this is the terrain card. Now do you move... Do you? Which one do you do first? Do you do the terrain card or do you move? Well, you move and you throw... The, and then you flip the reveal. It's the kind terrain. of the same. Yeah. It's like... It's all the same motion. So it's a clear. Oh, jeez. Well, look at it this way. We're burning through all the clear cards early. Yeah. More clear terrain. Yay! <laughs> but hey, at least you got the smoke. Anybody's auto-spotted in a clear terrain. But you've got plus one safety of the smoke there. Of the smoke, yeah. yeah. So at least there's some smoke there. And yeah. I didn't throw a whole bunch of guys in there. Just one, so... Yeah, and the move counter comes off. Okay. And, and then, oh, I forgot to ready my... Um... Leader, yes. Yeah, so now oh, your yeah. leader would ready now, yes. So your leader would ready. And since you since you did a move, for, we forgot to reveal um, that the everybody in the woods there is spotted. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, there we go. Oh, on the drain card. Yeah, it's just easier to remember. Okay. All right. So now, um, so now you can conduct a turn. Okay. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, Sergeant Miller. He is going to actually route or ready, because yep, he's going to ready. He's going to spend his action uh, to ready the unit in here. Yep. So drop a card. Oh, got it. Yep. This one assault. So now he can ready. Yep, he's ready. He's ready. So that's one card. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. What can my other leaders do? Not much. <laughs> Well, you have a bazooka, but uh, you can see the Panzer three. Oh, because it's oh, so the tiger. I could okay, that would make sense. Um, yeah, it's clear to the zero. It's clear to your zero, bro. Well, and, my bazooka is over here, and he doesn't. His where's your, his Panzer three is no. My yeah. bazooka is on this side. Oh, well, you yeah. gotta you gotta remember how line of sight works. It takes it from your sector to the zero sector, and that's okay. clear because it's it's just from here to here. And then you take okay. the target, which is here, and take it to his zero sector. This doesn't mean anything because I'm not in that column, so oh. that's not oh, part okay. of the line of sight. So yeah, the, the line of sight it, it, it's it's I absolutely love how the line of sight in this game works. Uh, so just because there's a smoke, you would think that if you were, you know, doing line of sight like this, 
Mm-hmm. As you would normally think, how a normal hex encounter game goes, it would be blocked because it's clipping through. But you know, yeah. t- thankfully we don't have that. It's just from your sector to your zero sector, and then the target sector to its zero sector. So you have okay. line of sight. Now it's going to be a really long range shot, but you can do it. Okay, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. Uh, it mm-hmm. will be actually be a lot yeah, more than that. Right. Remember, it'll be it's two when you're going from sector to sector. So it'd be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But honestly, you got to remember anything past range five, you're rolling on the maximum range anyways. So well, for the bazooka, right? it's a three to hit no matter what. Exactly. So I well, might as well do that because I do have a fire card and that can get some cards out of my hand. It's actually, it's a four to hit, but uh, you got to throw in the wooded road that he's in there too. So you got to subtract two, but you do have a leader, so you can. Why is it... Okay, okay, hold on. Why is it a four to hit? First number is the to hit. The first number is to hit. Oh, so it's a ten. Oh, like. On the white on the white band there down at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. One, one one thing one thing that might be a little bit confusing. You would think red would be the further away range. Red is actually the closest range. Yellow is the the medium range. White is the. I had it reversed. Yeah. yeah, I had that reversed. Believe me, yeah. everybody does that. Okay. Now that I know that, it makes sense. Uh, so a four no. is a four to hit, and then it's a minus two. So I need a two to hit, correct? But you do have a leader. Okay, so then that so leader can, I could put, so that'd can, make it a three to hit. Yes. On, you know what? I'm going to do it just because I actually have a card to burn and it'll get cards out of my hands. Okay, now, Sean, this is a question I have to ask. This leader right here, uh, Captain Bowden, has got the redo dice roll. Could yes. he use his leadership modifier to redo a dice roll in another sector, or does it have to be in the same sector? Yeah, it has to be in the same sector. Ah, okay. I was trying to help you out there, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Really okay. Pick ass so, later, you can do that. Okay. So what what we're gonna do? So we're gonna fire. So I need to hit a three to hit. Yes. Because three to hit. four minus two, but plus one. So four to hit. Three to hit. Sorry. Three. Two dice. Or two dice. Three to hit. Sorry. Two dice. Two dice. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Come on. Snake eyes. Come on. Nope. <laughs> I got doubles. You did Just get not doubles. Ones. Just not the ones I wanted. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you put a fatigue. That whole... You're already in clear, so you're already automatically spotted, so... Now, is it the fatigue's just on that unit, correct? The unit, yes. Okay. Okay, and then I draw up. Yep. Two, and then it's on to you, Devin. All righty. Well, what do we want to do? Um, burp, 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 burp. Thank you. Burp, 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 burp. How silly do I want to be? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead just so just so we can do it. We're gonna do a movement on the tiger. The tigger. It's a trap. And that's gonna be it for my action. Now yeah. one other thing you can do, uh Tony, and just uh, as a reminder, you can move within your own sector. So say for instance your uh, unit there, uh, if he was ready, um, had a movement card, and you could move to try to move into better terrain within the same sector. You would just do okay. So in- basically, removing the yeah, terrain that's there and an in sector move. Uh, you play a movement card. You put an in sector move counter, and then uh, hopefully you would have a better terrain card that you you know <laughs> recon or something like that, and then you. Um, when you resolve in your upkeep phase, you would replace the terrain card with a another terrain card. Preferably okay, one got you. Oh, so you repl- yeah, you replace the terrain card. I gotcha. Okay, so real quick here. So I'm going to throw this up. So if I have multiple icons on an action card, 
I can play it in the same. I can play both of them in the same sector, or can I? You can play both of them on any unit in any order. They're just like drawing two cards. Okay, so they can be two different units. Yep, two separate, two separate sectors, two different units. However, you want to do it. Okay, so I have a fire and a recon card. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice little. my armor, my M10, and we are going to target uh, the infantry squad. Now, you may have a better shot at that Panzer III. Now, at this point, you can see the Panzer III. Oh, because he spot. Okay. Yeah. And so... And, uh, the, the, you know, the Panzer III is concealed, actually, so it gets an extra... Minus two because it's in a wooded. Yeah, road we for, we we forgot about that when the forgot about fire that. Got it. Yep. So it would have been awesome if you got a three, but then I'd have to. <laughs> we'd have to know. reverse that. Nah, yeah. we'd have, we'd have yeah. already passed past it. Don't yeah. don't, don't, but don't my range. Fast. So my range is a five on that one though. Oh wait, no, you said armor. That's ordinance, range. Yeah, so. ordinance ordinance range is unlimited. It's just how well you can hit. Okay. Um, so that would be a three. Would the, be first a three number, in the first number in a white band, because it's it's more than six. I can yeah tell from here. Oh, that's right. The first, yeah, so three. So it would be a three, basically. Um, but it would be minus two plus one again. Um, well, you, the leader, the, you don't have the leader with you this time. Uh, it will be yes. plus, it'll be plus two because, or... Plus two minus. I have, it'll, it'll be, be in. Plus, it, so when you're rolling to hit, you want to roll under the to hit number, and you would uh, add the if you're firing at a at a that armored unit in the woods there, you would add two to your to your total, and because it's concealed, you would add an additional two. So he can't even hit there. Yeah, yeah probably not. Yes. Sorry yeah, about here, that. Uh, here, here, here's the thing about about firing at concealed units or not unspotted units. You can still do it. It just gives you a minus two penalty or plus two penalty yeah. or whatever it is. So you could use the recon action to try to spot the Panzer III to remove it from being concealed and then I'm, fire. I'm more worried about getting, getting a con- terrain card. <laughs> getting terrain cards. Yep. Uh, that's probably a good move, especially this early in the game. Now what? Now could I fire it on the uh, on the uh, infantry squads in front? Yep. Yeah, you sure can. Okay, so why don't I go ahead and do that? So would I use the the second number on the ordinance? So it, you would fire the first number on the ordinance. So it's one, two, three, four. So you'd be using the yellow numbers. Okay. So you would look at the first number. I can't see what the it's value. A seven. Is. It's a seven. It's a seven. Okay, so you're starting out with a seven. Then you would subtract three because, or add three to your die roll because it's in a wood building. Yep. So you would and, need a four, and then another on, two for being concealed. Yes, another two being concealed. So they're, it's not a not a great shot. I need a two basically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, I'm I'm using the card for the recon to get the, so I might as well. Hey, you might you might actually get it too. So you can fire the infantry, possibly. Infantry range is only three. One, two, three. He's got a machine gun, doesn't he? Oh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, That's a range five too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you've so you've got that uh, uh, machine gun over on the right there that can fire at the crew of the Panzer III because he's not buttoned. Okay, that would button him up. Possibly. Uh, range and that's a range four one two three four so yeah let's try that let's let's go ahead and fire that okay so we're gonna go ahead and fire that so you can so, so it's what uh the value is two two yep yeah so it's two plus one for the leader and if you want to add him and yeah of course so that's a two okay so that's a so it's a three total four and total you draw Leadership Bowden's modifier is a two on him. Oh, it is. Okay, that's right. It's Bowden. He's a kick-ass. Um, you draw a card, and you add that die roll to your firepower total. So 
Oops, not the whole deck. Sorry. <laughs> There's the whole deck in there. I can choose it if I get the whole... Oh, that's not worth it. Yeah, so you got two, four... You got six. six. Okay. Yep. So now the Panzer Three crew, uh, he's got two, and he's got plus one for being behind uh, the armor of the vehicle, and you would plus a die roll. So I've got a dice roll plus three. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay, so you got you're at a plus one morale check, Mr. Devin. Yep, because Tony's dice roll beat me by one, so I'm at a uh, morale plus one. Or dice roll plus yeah. one versus my morale. You got six. Six plus, plus one is oh, a seven. Taking the Panzer three. <laughs> I, the... Uh, that's I knew I loved cards better than dice. <laughs> I think it's both our strengths, Devin. Like, oh, definitely. Like, literally. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Let's see if I can remember where the shaking counter is. Nope. 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 Ah, oh, there we go. Is it... And 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 you know you could have cross also if you didn't like your role you got you could have done a redo with your oh leader. yeah if I, yeah that's right I could because of the leader. But you you took the chance and anyway it worked out for me. It worked out. It, worked out, yeah. out. it, it did. <laughs> okay, so now I can pull uh, two um, terrain uh, cards. Terrain cards. Okay, uh, so let me. Oh, I guess you'd see it anyways when I discarded it. Well, what I did is I have I had this little little discard. Oh, how, how, what yeah. do the rules say on that, Sean? For when you're discarding the terrain cards, does it go face up or face down? Put it face up. I don't think I have a rule for that. Um, I think it's you discard it face up. There's so many different types of terrain. I mean, if you're really that good of a card counter, well, man, yeah, and I'm I'm God not. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then this guy goes gets discarded here. Um, oh, I forgot to ready this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm gonna go. Um, so oh. So if I play a card, if I use that leader, it has to be in that sector, right, for an action? Yes. Okay. So I'm not going to do that um, this turn. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pull up, and then, Devin, it is yours. Yep. All right. So for my action, first thing we have to do is we have to resolve my movement. So let's go ahead and draw a terrain card. And hope it's not a marsh or a wire. And it's brush. Okay, I can live with that. And we move up. Discard the moved. Under normal circumstances, a unit moving would generate fatigue. But that's the one thing tanks don't do is they do not generate fatigue when they move. Because the guys are sitting down, being all lazy-like. Although I do still have the one fatigue from the... Uh, the shot. Time, the shot that I took earlier. Um, as for uh, moving out of the terrain, some people think, well, does the terrain go away? Does the terrain stay? No, that road still stays there uh, until there is a time when there is no units adjacent to it in left, right, up, down. You, you don't count diagonal for that. So anytime a terrain is completely by itself, up, right, left, down, uh, then that terrain card goes away and it can be replaced with something else. Uh, okay, so we've got this shaken on my poor little Panzer three over here, Sean. How do I get yep. rid of that shaken? Uh, you can get rid of it through the play of a rally card. Ah, well, the problem is I have no rally cards, so I guess he's going to remain shaken. Do I have a leader that can do it? No, there is no leader there that can do it either. So and only hmm. armor leaders can do anything with armor. Yep. So infantry leaders can't hop in there and say, "What's wrong with you guys?" <laughs> Okay, say I wanted to play a terrain card for my hand, Sean. How do I do that? Is that a unit action, or it's, how does well, that happen? The terrain card is played during your upkeep phase. Ah. 
So you've resolved the tiger, and now you can place one terrain card anywhere adjacent to your units or your opponent's unit as long as your opponent's unit is in line of sight of one of your units. Right. And the, the people who are watching my screen know what I have, um, and I don't think we're going to do that quite yet. So what do we want to do? Ah. If you have a nasty marsh, you can throw it right in front of the advancing Americans, or... I didn't want you know, Tony to know what my terrain card was, and you just told I didn't tell him. him that. I, don't, I can't see your terrain card, so I don't know if he Oh, okay. Well, then I just outed myself what my train card. Yes, it's a marsh card, but I, I'm not. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to throw that in because basically, if I throw that, if I throw that marsh card out in front of here, that'll keep me from moving it. Well, I could move into it, it but isn't you know, grading line of sight. Yeah, but I mean, I've already got the blocking line of sight right there. Yeah. So, I mean, I can still shoot into the into the sector. I just can't you shoot can beyond shoot this. Into it. Yeah, just and don't can't. forget you have machine guns. Yep, I got uh, I got uh, two machine guns on there, both range yep. four. But really, do I want to waste the machine guns on on a poor shaken squad that's not really doing anything? They're not shaken. They're just spent. or they're spent, they're, spent right, right? Yeah, they're right. reloading. They're tired. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we want to do? Got, uh... and, and just to those you know folks who are listening and kind of scratching their head about terrain, the game is almost always all also about as much about terrain as it is about moving your units on the board. because the the game board is a limited number of sectors that you can move your troops around in and if it's static then you know it sort of gets um a very a foregone conclusion you know and you can not maybe get somebody out of there but throwing uh terrain down like throwing a building down in front of a unit that's been firing at you all day you know is sort of uh, a relief for some of your <laughs> units and you would say well how did that happen remember each sector is considered like a series of hexes so in other words uh take like uh, 10 hexes together and you know there's all different terrain in those hexes so units can find shadows or other terrain and and they're and it's all kind of baked into the mechanics of the game that you know it happens dynamically you know you don't have to micromanage it that's why uh um you know, in the upkeep phase, you you can kind of uh, really have fun with the terrain and help your out, help yourself out by advancing up by having favorable terrain thrown out in front of you, or blocking terrain thrown out in front of your opponent. Okay, so what you gonna do, Mister Devin? We're gonna fire the machine guns from the tiger into that poor little infantry squad. Ah. Uh... A poor little they, infantry squad. Yeah, they resolve each machine gun one at a time. So now this, uh, the Tiger has, for those of you watching at home, uh, has got two machine guns on it. You'll see that the red number, or the number in the red circle and the red triangle is the machine gun fire, firepower value. The four is the range. Uh, do you want to explain what the difference between the triangle and the circular for the machine guns on vehicles are, Sean? Sure. So the triangle represents a bow-mounted machine gun. So it can shoot at any unit in its covered arc, which is basically any uh, uh, row up in front of it. Um, and I think any row to the left or right of it. But it can't shoot to the, to the, the sector immediately to its left or its right or behind. The red number the round number up there is can shoot 360 degrees however if it shoots out of its covered arc then it's uh, i believe it's halved or is it, no there's a penalty there's like a plus two or something so for for our purposes i'm not shooting out so i both both targets uh, the target You're is in our front target. arc so yeah. it's going to be two now my leadership modifier do i add my leadership modifier to both of the machine gun attacks or just one? Each attack. All right. So each attack is going to be two plus the leader value of two. So that's going to be a four. And Tony is going to get the smoke. Is he spotted? Yes, because he's in clear terrain. But he's in smoke. Does smoke yeah, override? But... So he's technically he's, he's spotted. Okay, so he doesn't get the concealment bonus, so I will get a plus four on both of my attacks. 
So I will have two attacks. Um, let's go ahead and pull one, one dice and a second dice. And Tony will get uh, two defensive rolls at a plus one on his dice. Yeah, so you want to resolve the first attack before you start the second attack. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. <laughs> yep, that is bad. So that card right there to your right, Devin, mm -hmm. that should be Tony's res that Tony's card for his damage check, which is a uh, plus eight. Well, technically, it sh it should have been his card for his defensive yeah. dice roll. So yeah. So uh, I attend to his three, which is a plus seven. So he's got a morale check at plus seven. All right. So you draw one card and add seven to it. Two, nine. Six, seven, nine. All right. So it's not double the morale. So it's just shaken. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, that would be that'd be great to move the shaking off the Panzer three. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. All right, that was the first attack. So the second attack, I've got a four, five, six. Tony's Ooh, got I'm a. Gonna... That's a good chance on that one. A one plus six. Well, it's even. I did not exceed the value. There is no damage to Tony or no detrious he's, effects. He survived. He did. Nice. And he's only shaken, so that's easy enough yeah. to get rid of. Yeah. Now, so in, increase the fatigue on the tank unless yep. you're going to fire the offense. The also, yep. You're you're only you're still only at fatigue one. I mean, are you done firing? Or yeah, yeah. Firing no, the... I've, no, I was just firing the machine guns. Okay. And that's basically the end of my turn. And I'll you're, take a card. Yeah, fatigue fatigue level two. You're at all kinds of different penalties. Yep. So I'm going to want to try to bleed that off here before I do anything more with them. Yeah, if you were to fire again, you would be spent. Yep, and as well as suffering a minus two to my ordinance well, to your attack. Yeah, your, yeah, your attack. Okay, so you're roll. You've drawn up, Devin. Yep, I'm done. It's all on you now. Okay. okay, so I'm going to have some fun here. So I'm going to actually place a terrain. Woo! In B one. <laughs> Nice. I'm gonna put a building right there. there nice, go. very good, yes. very good. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do, um, so to get a shaken off, that that's a rally, correct? Uh, yes, it's a rally. Okay, okay, so I have um a card, so I'm gonna play this card for this unit here. So I'm going to try. Can I actually ra try to rally and then ready it in the same turn? Yes. Okay, that's the. But I just can't do it if it just got shook and, like, if I got. Yeah, I got it. If you fired and then you uh, and you g gained a fatigue in the same impulse, you can't ready it. Yeah, okay. you, you can't bleed off fatigue yeah. in the same turn that you build it up. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I need to do a morale check, correct, for the yep. rally. Yep. Two dice. And I got to be less than a six. Does this shaken add a modifier to it? Yeah. Or is it, or is it a straight morale? Straight morale check. Okay. Hey, hey, there you go. I got it. Now, some people out there who are familiar with lock and load tactical or other tactical games may notice that, well, wait, there, there, there's not a leader there. How, how can you rally the squad without the, you don't need, a, that, that's the great thing about this game, you don't need a leader to rally a shaken squad. As long as you've got the action card to do it, you're free to try to rally anybody on the board, regardless if they're stacked with a leader or not. Do you have NCOs in your squad or corporals and, and you know, they can... You know, can rally as the rallying point or, or the uh, yeah. So yeah. now I can ready him because of that card too. Correct. Do, I don't. Is that an automatic or do I roll for that? Nope, it's automatic ready. And now because you played a ready card, you get a an additional bonus of attempting to try to re reduce fatigue on one of your units. So uh, I believe it's uh, I forget what it is, uh, Devin. I have to look at the fatigue. My player aid here, and I think it's <laughs> odd, I think. Oh, I remember reading that. Yep. I can't remember. 
It's a 50-50 chance. So, you know, usually yeah. what I do, friendly games, I say even, and then I then I roll it or pull it if it's even, you know. Okay, so we'll just do odd. Well, which just one just... Which one are you going to do? The guy with the bazooka or the guy oh, with the, the bazooka. 30 cal? Okay. Bazooka. Bazooka for even. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah. So All I right. can do that fatigue. Yep. Yeah. So you would reduce it. So if you're at a one, it would be go, it would go away. If you were at a two, you would reduce it to a one. Yeah, it's one of the few. It's one of the few icons that allow you to do uh, actions with multiple units, and that's the ready action. You can also okay, so dip card a card and, and attempt to and reduce fatigue. Yeah, yeah, fatigue. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use my leader action okay. um, and play another card. So I'm going to play this one, uh, which is a move, and I'm going to try to. I'm going to move. Well, not try to. Uh, this you you're, gonna do a, you're gonna do a discard action. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sorry. On the, yeah. From the leader to do. Okay. So you yep. could have. Yeah, you could have played it just on the unit if because he's gonna be spent anyway. Oh, that's true. Ah, uh, well, the leader. But then, but this way, the leader or, automatically readies next turn, and yeah, I will have to try to spend yeah. that. Or, or you could have just played it as a move card because that was a move. Well, card. no, because I play already played one card. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's you, using his special yeah, leader oh, oh, ability to get okay, a second action. Really yeah, yeah now, your second action. Okay, so you're so the unit is spent also. Yep, and then also I am going to spend uh, Captain Bowden. He is going to remove um, the fatigue off of the thirty cal. Okay, throw another card. Okay. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, uh, okay, I see it's a sniper. I don't have any snipers, so is that just like a okay? Non- sniper's, sniper's an event. Sniper. You may yeah. not want to throw that. You, yeah, you're not going to want to do. You have a sniper card. That means you get to do a sniper attack. Oh, so it doesn't. You don't have to have a sniper to do that. No, no, no. Everybody, everybody is considered to have snipers out there. It's just it. as you draw it or whenever you want to play it, it's a sniper attack. Okay, I'll remember that. And Devin, forget I have that card. <laughs> card or card? I don't. I don't, about what, I don't know what card. you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Forget um, about Devin's harsh card. <laughs> okay, so I've drawn up Devin. So now it's your turn. Yep. Hmm. Let's see. I want to take a look real quick. The iconography always throws me off. Every time I every time I step away from the game for more than a week, I always forget. Okay, ready action. All right. Um, you can use ready to burn off fatigue. Correct. Yes. All right. Well, we're gonna uh, uh, tap. I mean, spend Lieutenant Kunz. <laughs> Don't sue us, Hasbro. Uh, to do the ready action, and. I'm going to bleed off fatigue. Now, I only can bleed off one fatigue, correct? Correct. All right. So we'll flip that over. So we're now at one fatigue. Now, since I played a ready action, I could technically try to burn off a fatigue off of somebody else. But, I mean, honestly, I don't have anybody else that's got fatigue on them. So it's that's, that's kind of pointless. Now, since I did the leader action, I have to dump a card. So let's go ahead and dump that card. And now for a unit action... Let's go ahead and play another reconnaissance. I could do a move, but I'm not going to do the move action. I'm just going to do the reconnaissance action. So let me go ahead and draw two terrain cards, and we'll go ahead and get rid of the clear. And that'll get thrown away, and I'm done. Redraw two cards to fill up my hand to five. And back over to you, Tony. Okay. So now you're you're up on base. So now you want to resolve your move. Yep. Okay, so he is going to move up here. Yeah. Now, did he get the fatigue when he played the movement action or when he completes the movement action? Well, because he spent no fatigue. Oh, that's right. Just... That's right. Yeah, you're right. And you want to ready your leader. Oh, yep. Ready both of them. Oh, yeah. So the leader could have technically gone with the leader. Okay. Okay. I, I'm going to have him if I didn't realize that, but he would have yeah. got something yep. to go with him. Okay. And since nobody's in here, we can go ahead. Do we get rid of the spotted marker because no one's in the sector? Get rid of the spotted marker, yes, because no one's in there now. Yeah. Okay. 
so I've done all my that stuff. Okay. Yep. So now it's uh, my turn to play again. Uh, so uh, activate one of the action. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and play this card, which has a uh, action, uh, unit action, activate one of the icons on the card. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the second line squad, and I'm going to throw smoke. Okay. So, yep. The one that you're on, Devin. Yep. yep. Sorry. Yep. 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 So I need a four, five, or six, um, three, four, five, or six, because I'm going to use a leadership ability. Yep. Okay, so go ahead, and we're going to flip that puppy there. Oh. Ah, that figures. Okay, so the smoke green, did not Green happen. squads don't know how to throw out uh, throw out smoke. Yeah. Okay, so since and, that was, since, Sean, since that was an action that wasn't successful, does that build up fatigue? No, you don't get fatigue for throwing smoke. Gotcha. Only moving and firing. Okay. Young, because you're just doing this. Fatigue, yeah, then, yeah, you're not going to get fatigue for throwing a, a smoke grenade. Well, obviously those guys were because they weren't able to throw it in the well, right yeah, spot. Well, yeah, I didn't want to mention that. So Dude, she just slammed me. She's like, "What if you get it properly?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I can. I, that other card had a ready action on it, so I'm going to go ahead and ready this card. No, no, no smoke at all. No smoke at all will give you, like, no matter if you do smoke, it's not going to cause fatigue at all, whether you're successful or not. Am I correct on that? You are correct. Okay, yes. Yeah. No. Fatigue only happens if you shoot or move. What's that? Throwing smoke does not cause fatigue, no, whether, you, not whether you're successful or not. Yeah, whether you move or No, shoot. we're just making sure. Yeah. Or if you do an assault, which okay. is moving and shooting. Okay, so I've got everybody in this nice little hex here. That's kind of nice. They're all ready. Well, it's a bunch of hexes. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, um, and at that point, I am done. I'm going to draw up. Hmm. And it is back to you, Devin. Hmm. So you want to ready your leader. I always forget to do that. <laughs> Boy, I'd love to get rid of that shaking on my Panzer III over there, but I just I don't. Throw terrain down if you want. Yeah. Well, actually, hang on. No, I can't even. They, they don't even have a self rally. Who designed this? That's 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 garbage. <laughs> Some units have a self rally, like like the Airborne and uh, SS. Yeah, but not my 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 low little PZ three. Ah. <sighs> You know, I don't want to come out of my nice, comfy buildings. It's warm in here. We have tea, you know. Uh, I do not want to move my tank into that building. Although it would be kind of humorous. Uh, yes, 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 fine. And I can't really shoot at anybody. These guys can't see anything. I can't see anything there. He's, yeah, really. I mean, the only guys that I get, she, they haven't got. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We're 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 just gonna dump a card. <laughs> I don't have anything to do, uh, or anything I want to do. Let's put it that way. Tony. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, so you're okay. I don't need to do any of that. Um, we're good to go there. Nothing on the upkeep. I can see. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna have some fun. Um, ah, sniper. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw the sniper. And what I'm gonna do is, oh, ooh, hold on. Maybe I can't. Hold on. I want to do it, but I don't know if I can. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, no, it's the range thing. Oh wait, does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, snipers, it doesn't okay. matter. Yeah, okay, exactly. so you just pick a target, and then they have exactly. to do the do. We do. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you want to shoot at um, Lieutenant. 
cones there, you could. Yep, because I'm sticking my head out of my turret. Oh. You know what? That's a really good idea. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so that's just a 2D6 then, and 2D, then... 2D6, and then you're drawing two and then adding them together. Yep. When I figured that out, I was like, that's cool. Yeah, snipers uh, are pretty powerful. Oh, uh, eight. eight. So now Devin will get one plus one for the tank plus a D6. So I got two. Six to an eight. So I lose by two. The plus two morale check. Yep. So... I need to pull this card back out. Yes, because there is something special we have yep. to do with that. I was reading that. All right. Um, five plus seven shaken. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh... Oh, no, no. That's a leader. It's a wound, isn't it? Well, he fired just at the leader. Yeah. And I failed my morale test. Okay, so the leader's shaken. Okay, so the leader's shaken. Right. Sure he's not wounded? <laughs> yeah, that's wrong game. Uh, okay. Now we have to figure out what happens with the sniper. So I got to draw again. Uh, I just had the chart up here. Dang it. Uh, one and two removed from the game. Three to five discard. Six. Shuffle the sniper card into the action deck, provided there are more than six cards remaining. Yep. Okay. So, okay. So I pull one card and let's see what happens to it. I'm enjoying this, Sean, by the way. <laughs> one. Oh. It is removed from the game. Yes. So now when you do that, there is a dummy card that you have to throw into the deck so that the dice rolls don't get... That's the, oh. the, the crap card. It goes into the discard pile. And it will be shuffled in when the game turns over. Yeah, okay, there, are cool. two, there are two sniper cards in the game. So, yeah, that's... Uh, we, we, we could very well see another sniper here very soon. And let's see here. Let me look, make sure that I've got everything I can do right now. Yeah, that. No, the one question. So I've been moving one at a time. Can you actually move an entire sector? You can with a movement okay. card. OK, so with a movement card, you can move everybody in one sector to another sector. That's what mm -hmm. I meant. Yeah. OK, I'll, I'll remember that. Um, but as for right now, I'm just going to draw up and I'm going to send it off to Devin. All righty. I actually hate all of my cards, so I'm going to dump my entire hand. So, fellas, I'm going to jump off here. So I hope you enjoy your game. Thank you for letting me hang out for a little bit. Oh, thank you for coming along. No, thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. It's all really right. cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. This is going to be a, I'm going to enjoy this a lot game. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Like the replayability is insane on this game with all the tar with all the terrain changes and everything. So it's going to be great. Yep. It would have really changed the game had your uh, like your M10 back here been on the hill because if if you're on a hill you can see over and you don't have line of sight blockages. So hills are really oh. powerful in this game. So that would have been really cool. Well, if it... All right, Sean. Thank you for stopping Thanks, by. Thanks, Sean. Sam. All right, we'll see ya. Yep. See ya. All right, so um, actually, uh, if we want, let's take a, we're about an, a little bit over an hour in. Uh, if we want to take a little bit of a, of a quick break, I, I need to run to the bathroom. So okay. <laughs> let me go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. I guess, Tony, and if you and your daughter want to entertain the customers while I'm gone, go ahead. <laughs> we'll, we'll do some talking, figure out what we're going to do here. <laughs> no, so... Um, yeah, it's like 1030. So I was looking at this one. This card will only be good when I get next to a unit. Because it's uh, melee and melee, 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 whoever, what, whatever. Melee, melee, I've heard it all. So, yeah. And then, and then what's nice, it's an or overrun. So if one of my tanks overrun or my tank can overrun into it and run them over. 
Yeah, basically. That's why they called it Overrun. So that's a pretty good card. And then this is, of course, the awesome card that helped me the last time. So that sniper card was pretty cool. So. Oh, I'm not worried about it. Devin will forget it. <laughs> no, no. No. Oh, it's like righty. He's back. <laughs> yep, I'm back. Stop, stop don't, talking. Don't talk anymore. He's back. He's back. All right. So basically, what I did is I went ahead and dumped my entire hand. You can do that once a game or once a turn, something like that. Um, and then I then that's basically my entire action. And then I draw five back up to five cards, and I didn't get much better than what I had beforehand. So eh, whatever. Uh, so back over to you. Yeah, so the one thing I was going to say about the the action cards, and I forgot to say this to Sean, and I appreciate that he puts it in there, that even if you don't have a card, you can still play it in plain action, even well, though it's the basic ones. That, that That's is... one of my... Di- it's one of my problems with Combat Commander, which I yep. do like Combat Commander. I'm yep. not saying that's bad. But you can get a bad hand for a long time if you don't have the right cards. This kind of negates that part, at least... Uh, when it comes to it, so. well, and that's that's one of the things that uh, this has got a lot of this uh, shares a lot of D- DNA with upfront. Mm-hmm. Um, and the problem with upfront was kind of the same problem you run into Combat Commander. You'll go a lot of turns and just have garbage. And I, I, I used to play the hell out of upfront, and there would be sometimes 10, 15, 20 turns I would go you know, discarding one or two cards at a time because I just didn't have the cards that I needed that I wanted to do anything. And Sean wanted to make sure we didn't have that issue that so even if you don't have the cards you want, you can still do unit actions. It just spins the unit when you do it. So, I mean, I, it's, it's in my opinion, it's a very elegant and very uh, nice, easy way to fix that problem so you, the game yeah. is continually always moving because you've always got the potential to do something every turn now granted like i said it's going to spin the unit but you know what that, that that that'll slow you down but it but it doesn't stop you it doesn't yeah. stop you yeah. yeah so okay so i have no upkeep to do this time this turn but so i'm going to play a move card and i'm yep. going to move the entire section here yep in, in, okay, oh, you don't don't move them yet. Yep, you're right. Yep, that's right. That that was one of the things that it took me like when do <laughs> when do I move? What what when do when do I move? It's so. kind it's kind of the the presentation of opportunity fire uh being built in uh so I can try to catch you before you you move from one quote unquote cluster of hexes to another cluster of hexes. Um and honestly, it's also if I've got a terrain card, then yeah, I, I I'm gonna get ready to throw it down on you when you move. But you, you, there's already a terrain there, and I I can't do that. So yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get into that building with no problem. And my tiger's sitting there with a shaken leader. So yep. <laughs> yeah. So um, so I'm gonna draw up, and then it'll be back to you. All right. Well, finally, uh, we've got. A ready card, so let's go ahead and get rid of that shaken marker off of my leader. Now, uh, since I played a ready action, I could try to burn off, tr- attempt to burn off fatigue. So let's go ahead and try to burn off the fatigue from the tiger tank. And let's just go ahead and call it even. Like I said, procedurally, it's like a one, two, three, or four, five. Like I said, it's a 50 50 chance. I just have always a friendly game whatever it's a 50 50 chance yeah. So even yeah it, as long as you it, it doesn't matter what the rule says as long as you call it before you you do it exactly exactly so i got the even so that burned off the fatigue so my tiger is back in the game and honestly since he moved into that since i fired from that brush hex i should have since i fired the machine guns i should have put the uh, spotted marker on there earlier because he mm-hmm. did fire the machine guns when he was in the brush so uh that's it for me draw a card and back over to you Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and move in. Yep. To here. And they get fatigue for moving, correct? Correct. Each one of them will have one fatigue. There you go. Okay. Just one ha- well, just one sector. Okay. Your daughter was asking how far they could move, huh? Yep. <laughs> yep. She's like, how far do they move? And yep. Like one sector. That was also the other thing that I... Oh. Oh. Well... Oh, okay. This is abstracted, which means that it's, like, not a set amount of space. So it's just, like, it's an area that they move to. 
So it it. it, it Yeah, it's a little bit longer than that. But if you think, well, if you think about it, so basically there's not, that was the one thing, Devin, that I also was like, well, how many do they move? So it doesn't matter what the unit is. It moves one sector. Yep. That's it. Yep. So a good way, good way to describe it is a sector is as big as it needs to be. And a turn is as long as it has to be. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's an abstract, non-specified amount. So, and like I said, I, that's how I just comfort myself is that a sector is, it's as big as it needs to be for whatever's going on in there. And, the, and the turn length is as long as it has to be, you know, so again, abstract variable. Yep. Uh, I, I really do like, I mean, it was one of those things that it's different. Like I've never played up front. So this is, this is totally new to me. <laughs> um, so as I was reading through the rules, I was like, well, what about this? And then I'm like, oh, okay. Like, like I said, when I read rules, I flip through the book. I don't read it from front to cover or back right, cover. Right, just, right, right. To me, I'm like, how do you combat? How do you move? <laughs> you know, I just, give me the basics and then I'll figure out the details. Yeah. Um, yep, okay. Yep. So that was my upkeep phase. So we yep. got, uh, so now we're going to throw my impulse. This is where I might get a little different. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to play a fire and a recon card. Um, so what I want to do is I want to fire my... Um, so since I... Oh, I didn't hit that. Um, hmm. like I'm trying to figure out who I wanted to fire. I know what um, I do. Me, do you want to be a real jerk to me? Take I, all, I, take, I don't see it. I don't see it, but take these all, guys moved take, up. It, so it doesn't matter. They've already moved into the terrain. They're moved up. They okay. can still do an action. Remember, upkeep is different from the action phase. They're already okay. in this hex now, or they're in this sector now that they now that they're the action phase rolls around. Yeah. They can still do an action. So if you wanted to take all this firepower and pour it at my poor, poor little tank and the commander in there, you could totally do that. That, well let's do it because it's there because i didn't realize that. i didn't realize that so that was something i didn't realize that so yep yep, yep. So, so well it's not all that firepower it's all of three firepower mm -hmm. well plus you've got your leadership modifier <laughs> which is a one so that's four right and i've got two my defense is going to be a two so it's going to be four to two okay so you've got plus the, the plus you've, a die roll yep so you've got the two no, point okay okay on me but don't I roll three dice? Nope. You add them all together and roll one dice. Okay. Why do I remember seeing that? Oh, it's because I saw 3d6. Why was I thinking? That's melee. Melee is different. Oh, that's probably what it was. Yep. Okay. I think I think in melee you roll one, you you toss a dice for each one in there. So. Okay. So then, because then it can run through some cards like crazy. Yes, it does. Okay. So I get, so it's four plus five, so three, which is a seven. And I've got a three, so you beat me by four. So I need to take a morale test plus four. Four, it's a 10. Okay, well, we're shaking again. <laughs> which is not good because if I'm, and this is the tank shaking, not just the leader. This is the actual tank because the sniper just because affected the sniper the, was going after the tank leader. Yeah. The, the, so yeah, I am shaken, which is going to set me up for a very nasty close assault. If you want to jump in there and close assault me next turn, because if I'm shaken, I'm going to take lots of penalties in, 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 in a close assault. So that's not good. Now you had a recon action on there. I got to pull two recon cards. Yep. Or you can attempt to spot something. I mean, don't don't always don't forget that. Normally, it's yeah, you you want terrain, but every once in a while there may be. Hey, you just want to you want to try to spot somebody. This one's gonna go away, <laughs> and then I am going to draw up. Okay, but now all those card all those guys have fatigue too. Um, fatigue too. Yep. Now, you can do something when you have Fatigue 2. You're going to take some penalties at it, and as soon as you get done with the action, they will automatically they spend. Yep, yeah. yeah. okay. So. 
But okay, what, uh, what, back to you. Yep. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that to get rid of the shaken marker because I do not want to get close assaulted when I'm shaken. And I could try to bleed off fatigue from somebody, but I don't have any fatigue, so I'm gonna draw a card and be done. Back to you. What do I want to do now? <laughs> I would get rid of that fatigue if I could. Yeah, which I am going to do that. So I have. <laughs> Um, oh, I, oh, there we go. I'm going to keep this card. Hold on. This is a card. So I do have a rally. Okay. Or not whatever. Yeah, rally. Um, so is it just one unit? Let me check that. I, that is the one thing that I do oftentimes forget how many you can bleed off. So let me, where's my rule? I will say this rule book is very good for referencing. Yes, it is very good. Uh, da, 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 da. I used to actually have a physical copy of it, but when we flew to Dallas last year, um, when we flew, when I flew back, there was a massive rainstorm that went through Dallas, which you really don't think of going through Dallas. And I had, uh, I, I used my uh, military oh. duffel bag and it got soaked and managed to damage pretty much all oh, the printed material not... I had in there. So I don't have a, I'm trying to see if I've got, I should have. I've got it right here. Okay. So yeah, a leader, so. Um, uh, let's see here, may play a rally card or use a rally action by a leader to initiate a rally on a stack of units within the same sector containing at least one shaken unit. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're ready. Looking at, Sorry. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're looking at fatigue. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that'd be. Um, uh, during, yeah. Uh, it's 8.9, by the way. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. The rule book is right here. We've got the PDF of the rule book right in one here. of your units. One. one of your units. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so one of these will get. Um, we're gonna just uh, just the first one. It doesn't really matter because they're all the same unit. So. Okay. Uh, so I that... seem to recall there was a way that you could burn off multiple fatigue. Let me uh, let me see if I can. Of course, the one time we really need Sean here. Yeah, <laughs> of course it always works out that way. You know. Of course, of course. Uh, you're saying 8.1. The, the white phosphorus actions. Assault summary. Fire. Removing fatigue, which is 30, page 32, 6.2.1.3. Okay. What page? Uh, page 32. 32. 32. Okay. Okay. Removing fatigue. During a player's impulse, a player may discard an action card to reduce a unit's fatigue by plus one. A fatigue unit, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Additionally, you may attempt to reduce an additional fatigue level by conducting a D6 check. If the result is odd, you may reduce fatigue on any friendly unit on the battlefield by one. So that is if okay. you, uh, if you uh, discard an action card. So, yeah. Okay, so you can discard an a another action. I can discard another action card. Well, no, you discard one action card okay. to to bleed off one fatigue, and then you've got yep. a fifty fifty chance of bleeding off the fatigue anywhere else on the battlefield. Oh, but I have something else I can do, too. My leader, Sergeant Miller, has um, a special action yes, for he does. Um, for readying. Yep. Readying, which is removing fatigue. I got to remember, ready is also not just readying, but it's removing fatigue as well. Yep. So let's tap him. He'll go ahead and flip one. But now remember, since you did the ready action with the card, by discarding yeah. the card, you've still got a 50-50. You basically now have two 50-50 shots at reducing an extra fatigue. You can do that twice. Okay. So I'm going to do one more. So this card's getting discarded. And so then I pull another card here. Oop. Card. Flip. Okay, that's an even. That, that bleeds off another fatigue. And then you've got one other attempt that you can make. Can you do more than one at... Yes, the same unit can have... You, if you want to, when you're burning off the first fatigue point, you can use the 50-50 yep. shot on the same unit. It says okay. any unit on the, on the board. No, no, you okay. don't have to. You oh. don't have to discard a card. 
for that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay well, let, let's go through this. You discarded the card to do the the first fatigue action. Yep. And then you just pulled the, you did the roll for the second fatigue action, 50-50. Then you tapped yep. your leader to get the, uh, to, okay, so yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You, you, you're you spending that card yep. for the leader action. You got it. Yep, sorry. Yep. I was just off. Nope, no, I, I, <laughs> I was going through it as well. I was like, okay, I did get it right. I, well, I tapped too quickly, like it, it yeah, went out of order. Yeah, work, yeah, so. yeah. So now that's, you've, nope, that's... you've got a roll for that one. Oh, that's right. I do have yep. a roll. But the way you've been going so far. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Told you, cards are pretty good for me. Cards are your friends. Yes. Dice. I, I, I need to learn Fields of Fire because that's, again, all cards. <laughs> and, you know, you know, I might. I, yeah, so, okay, so now I'm going to, and the nice thing is, the one, the one reason I really wanted to do that was just to get rid of some cards. Just to bleed cards out of your hand. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And possibly, you know, get the fatigue off. Which yes, yes, hard. definitely. But mostly it's to burn cards through your hand. All right. Um. So my action, we do not like the tiger sitting nice. all the way up there. So we're going to just uh, boogie backwards. <clears throat> removes all the smoke on the battlefield. I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to move. <laughs> no, get, get your dad to remove all the smoke. <laughs> now, if I was Devin, I would want to remove all the smoke. Yep, I, I would well, really want. Wouldn't to matter remove. anymore because I've got a building in front of his way now. Yep, but that would the, the breeze card would remove that smoke. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm uh, I'm going ahead and moving backwards. Now you got to remember, uh, normally when a unit moves, it builds up fatigue, except for tanks, and we have mentioned this before. So whenever tanks move, they don't build up fatigue. So it's only yep. when they shoot do tanks build up. And like I said, I do not like all that nasty infantry sitting right in front of me. So we're going to try to skedaddle out of here before you assault me. So ye I drew my card. Your turn. Okay. Um... Damn, I wish my tank was up. <laughs> well, well, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, yeah, here we go. Well, so first, I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and play first, this move first card. of all, untap your leader. Unready oh. your leader. Don't yep. sue us, Hasbro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I need to unspend my leader. Yes, okay. unspend your leader. Okay. Uh yep, so everything else is good there. So yep. I'm going to play this move card. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to what Sean said, move inside in my insect movement. Yep. So I am going to remove no, this. No, it, it doesn't. Uh, ha it doesn't happen yet. You, it's it's like a normal movement. You oh, don't got actually. It. So there is. Let me go ahead and pull out the counter for it. There is actually a, a insector uh, movement. Insector move right there. Okay. And you usually you point it to the left or to the right, uh, just to just to indicate that it's an insector move. Okay. And it works like a normal move card. Normally, if you move, you build up fatigue, but you're in a tank, you don't have to. Uh, so next turn during your upkeep phase, then you would be able to do the movement action and you're wanting to replace that road with something else. I know that's what you're doing. So that would happen at that point. Yep. Okay, right. so, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend my leader action. Okay. And to get rid of one, one fatigue, fatigue yep. automatically. Yep, burn a card to do that. Let's go ahead. No, I don't burn a card for that one. Oh yeah, 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 right, right. But uh, but you leader. but you do have a 50-50 shot uh, to remove yep. another fatigue. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna discard that one. Uh, do this one even again. Okay. Uh, flip. Jeez. There you go. Three and for three. Even. Great, and I will draw up. And it's back to you. All righty. Uh, well, okay. So for movement uh, or upkeep, we go ahead and we finish off the move to pull back to here. And I'm in the clears or road, which is technically a clear. Uh, so I am spotted regardless. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and put the spotted on there. The brush stays there because there's still units next to it. So as my action, I'm going to play a rally ready. I don't need the rally. I do need the ready. 
or I don't need the ready. I need the rally to get rid of the shaken. So my Panzer III is now finally back in the action. And unfortunately, that's all I can do. So I'm going to draw a card and back over to you. Um, it We have been doing this for about an hour and a half, and I think it's about, what, 11 o'clock your time? Um, yep. So uh, if you want to go, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do, let's do your move, because let's go ahead and show this insector move. Because yep. I, 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 I have a feeling I know what you have, and I know you want to get that tank up on the hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll save it, because I definitely want to continue this game. Off, oh, so yes, we'll yes, yes, definitely. We, we, I will save this, and we will definitely continue playing this later. Okay, so uh, I'm moving, so I'm removing that one, yep, and because uh, you gave me the most wonderful idea. <laughs> It's, well, it's, up it's not like it's a secret or anything. I mean, it says right on the card, units yeah, have LOS like, any sector on the battlefield. So, so, um, but no, that was, I, 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 when I saw that, I was like, oh, that, that's right. They said I could do that yep. because it's moving in. And so, yep. yeah, like, well, that's see, that, yeah, insect, insect moves are great for things like that. I mean, it could, especially if you're in like a marsh. Well, if you've got a marsh or a wire, we haven't seen either one of those comments. You have to do an insect move to try to get rid of those cards. Um, but okay. yeah, it's it's also good for if you've got backline vehicles and oh hey look I've got a hill let's get them up on the hill now. So yeah. or if you're in the open and you don't want to advance or pull back from the enemy and it's like oh, I want to get into those woods that's you know would be three hexes away so it's, you just do a lateral insect or movement and then you can switch out the terrain card and bam you're in that yep. you're in that terrain. So or if you're or or you know yeah definitely so <laughs> now what am I gonna do now? See, now that's what, what are you I'm, gonna do? Yeah. See, now I've got that, and now I don't have a fire card. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, you can drop any card you want because the M10 has the fire action on it. Yeah, so. that's right. I keep forgetting that. It's the action that's listed on the card, right? That's what That's what it's all about. Right, right. right. So you can do any action that's there. Right. So, yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. Um and then they get spent, right? Once I complete that. Right, action. right. You, when you do that action, so, so you're 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 jump dunk yeah, junking a card to be able to yep. do a unit action on the tank, and the tank has a fire action, so you're going to be doing a fire. So, yep. and since you're on a hill, it doesn't matter what line of sight is. You can see everywhere. You can see right over. You know, you can see over that smoke. You can see over that. You can see over the brush. I mean, basically any hex you want to put fire into, you can. You can fire on the hotel back here if you wanted to. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I don't want to fire. I want to fire on that. Yeah, tank. you want to fire on the tiger. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying yeah. you. That's not a bad idea. I'm just saying you have the option. So let's go yeah. ahead. So we don't have to worry about line of sight. Let's go ahead and count out the range. It's going to be one, one two, three, a four, a five. So that's going to be the yellow range band. Yep. So I need a seven hit. It, and it's less, right? Seven or less. Seven or less, yeah. right. Um, now, you don't have any positive modifiers because you don't have a leader or anything like that. I don't have any negative modifiers because I'm not moving or in terrain. So it's going to be, yeah, you just need a straight up seven or less to hit on 2d6. Okay. So I've got like a pretty much a 50-50 you've got, you've shot. Got, you've got better than 50-50 shot, yeah. Not by much, but we'll see what happens. Uh, flip. Oh, 10. That's oh, nice. but I don't uh, my luck's starting to run, and maybe it is time mm -hmm. to say goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now normally you would build up a fatigue because you're a tank that shot, but since you used a non-action card, you spend and you never build up fatigue when you're you, you get rid of you all spend. your fatigue when you spend. But as you've seen, it's relatively easy to get rid of an. Uh, it's spent. yeah, it's easy to, to yeah. yeah to get that. So, so yeah, okay. so let's go ahead. Um, and now let's give it a, it's, it's 11 o'clock now. So yep. let's go ahead and call it for right now. Okay. Um, and so uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming along. Tony, thank you for getting a chance to play with this with me. I, I mean, I, the only people I've actually played against is Sean. And since he designed the game, he kind of stomps me. So, and I, and I have played against a couple other people at, at cons, but those were teaching games. So, you know, we're doing the, this is the act. This is one of the, you were actually the first person I played that wasn't Sean or teaching game. And I'm so grateful for that because now I could actually oh, yeah. play the game. In the way it's supposed to be and thank you uh natalie your is your daughter's name right yeah yeah thank you natalie for coming along i appreciate that uh any closing comments you have guys um i natalie's looking forward to playing it she's catching on a few things so she'll probably sleep and she'll remember it all in the morning 
<laughs> and then absolutely annihilate me when we play. Usually that's the way it's been. Yep. No, I, I totally get it. All right. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. And we'll talk to everybody later. Hey, yeah. Yeah.